Hey guys, what's up? So, I don't do a lot of tool reviews. I just do, I guess, review, review the tools I actually use. Um, so, my toolbox has got stolen a couple days ago. at the back of my truck, my F-250. Um, I work as a cabling contractor and then IT. I mean, I build data centers, you know, wiring closets, that kind of stuff. Set up networks, phone systems. So, so now I needed to buy some new toolboxes. And before I just used like the Craftsman, like a, like a rolling toolbox. I used two, one to hold supplies, and uh, one to uh, hold tools. But I guess I wanted to get this downside a little bit and kind of get everything down to one rolling box. I got that over at Home Depot. It wasn't that expensive. It was like less than 100 bucks. This is actually where it came, and then you could buy like optional units, connector boxes with it, but. I don't know 100% yet if I'm going to keep this one or not because it doesn't feel as sturdy as like the rigid one, the other one they sell at Home Depot. Like the latches don't feel sturdy. I mean definitely I, I like the layout better. The organization is better for me. You know, I can put my supplies in here. I mean I'll show you that if I actually decide to keep this one I'll put all my stuff in there and I'll, you can see what I'm doing with it. But um, yeah, I don't know. Like, I don't like the layout as much as the other one. So, has the wheels in the back here. It wasn't as expensive as the other one, but the rigid one super, seems super, super secure. So, yeah, you have a little organizer tray. I said you, you can't actually buy add-on modules. That's actually what that is right there. That's like 14 bucks. That up. So, tool tray for this one. Let's see what's up. Alright, let's see what's this one. Right. What we got? So, I need a place to store tools and I need a supply box. Supplies for me would be like zip ties, Velcro, um, because I mean, I, I, I do network wiring. I'm a low voltage contractor, so fiber optic. And I need a place to store my testing tools, like toning tools, cable testers, that kind of stuff. I'm actually pretty lucky that they actually installed my hand tools. They got my inspection camera, a couple fish tapes, but uh, all my good tools, like my laptop bag with all my really high-end tool, fluke testing tools were in, in my truck, and my Makita bag was in, the, in my truck. So really, they, they stole a bag of supplies and uh, hand tools, and uh, but still, I mean, it was about $1,800 worth of stuff, so kind of a nightmare. But Hopefully I can get recover some of that through insurance, but we'll see. Um, yeah, to go down to the police department, do a police report, all kinds of stuff. All right, so I don't know if that's going to be big enough or not. So yeah, I'm going to try to downsize and not carry as much stuff, but this just doesn't feel as sturdy as the rigid one. I mean, look at that. I mean, I just don't know if this is going to hold up, you know? I mean, it probably will, but... I don't know, so you know, think about it. So if I actually, if you do see me uh, filling this thing with tools, and you know I kept it. If you see me do a review with the uh, rigid box, and you know I, I bought the rigid one. So from here, if I continue on, I, I'm keeping it. If not, that's what it looks like. And I, I just I want to make sure this thing's gonna hold up, you know? Yeah. So like I said, it doesn't just doesn't feel sturdy as the other ones do. So, I don't know. It's definitely cheaper though, but I don't, I don't care about $100 if I breaks halfway getting to the job, so. All right. All right, guys. Still have a lot of tools to go here. Um, you see how it's starting to fill up. Actually, I came, I went back to Home Depot and bought this part here. So this is actually gonna be my supplies, just stuff that I use. Extra batteries. I'm gonna probably fill these up with extra, like special, like rack stuff. And I build like network racks and stuff. So when you work in like large data centers, colos, all servers and network gear usually goes in racks. So we build the racks, install the network gear, program the firewalls, you name it. So a couple of my videos, you see me working in the data centers. But yep, had to get do a comparison of this punch down tool. I, I just wanted a backup punch down tool. 
but actually this is a toolbox review. <laughs> I got sidetracked there, but okay. Um, cool toolbox. I mean, it wasn't, you know, a little bit over 100, I guess. I didn't want something too massive, I guess, because I didn't want to. Problem with my other toolboxes that were so big, it was a struggle to get them in the back of my truck. So this one I can at least separate, you know, and grab individual pieces, I guess. But cool. So I guess I kept the Husky. I mean, I actually when I went back home to Home Depot again, I looked at the Rigid and the Dewalt. They were just too big, so. Hey guys, what's up? So, alright, these things loaded up. I got a lot more tools coming in to replace those tools I got stolen, but like I, I, that's a piece of junk fish tape. That's my backup. I have some ideals coming in. Fiberglass fish tapes with the steel eaters. But, alright, so I gotta figure out now where I'm gonna, I'm gonna store this thing. Let's screw it in there. This is just going to be miscellaneous tools, small tools, hand tools, and then... There you go. Cool thing is it's all one box now. Larger tools in there. I have a, a few more things. My big flashlight will be in there. And uh, supplies. I have a lot more stuff I got to put in too. More J-hooks. Stuff for racks. Network racks. And... Put that here. This is a counter lever, and that goes like that. If you guys can see this on the camera. Okay, this is this. Nope. Oh, shit. Forgot something here. This is a bag of. Uh, it's for like a sticking. You can put wires like on concrete stuff because sometimes when you can't, you can't drill into wood. Like concrete walls, you you do something like that. Okay, and then something like that. All right, so I'm gonna figure out how I'm gonna stack it. I'm thinking weight because I don't want to get overwhelmed with this one. I guess I have to pick these up. Let's see how I got the weight. All right, I'll stack them. I'll show you how I'm gonna do it. All right, guys, so there it is. I can't really, you can't put anything on top of this one. There's no locking mechanism on this new one, the cantilever one. Alright. 